right, well, we've just arrived at Ripon, the first waypoint in our arrival to Oshkosh. We're lining up here with the railroad tracks. I'm in tow behind Mr. Glowing Leaderbrand. directly over Fisk. Glowing directly over Fisk. Rock your wings. Low wing, nice job. Go ahead and make that right turn. Continue on that right turn there for the low wing. Be left base entry for runway 36. Start the descent for the low wing. And monitor tower 126.6. Welcome to Oshkosh. Have a wonderful week. And you're on me, right? Yes, sir. Speed good? Yeah, doing good. Is this one going to be? 1269, I think. Okay. 1269 or 1266, they'll, uh, they'll give it to us. All right, I see several aircraft coming up the tracks there, landing runway 36 only. The wind is 010 at 10, gusting to 15. Get left base entry for runway 36, page 12 of the Notum Book. I got a Piper that's a half mile from Fisk, just south of the tracks, a little bit there, rock your wings. Nice rock. On the Piper, beautiful rock. Where are you in from? We're from Rhode Island. Rhode Island, wow. Come a long way. I think you uh, win possibly today for the longest distance so far. So the Piper from Rhode Island. Not for long. <laughs> is just about now. Turn due eastbound for the Piper. Join that east west road. Start the descent. Left base entry for runway 36. Monitor tower 126.6. Welcome to Oshkosh. Have a wonderful week. Thank you, you too. I got a high wing directly over Fisk, probably a Piper type. Rock your wings. I'm guessing it's a Pacer, probably, with the wings. The Pacer just rocked your wings. Turn due eastbound. Turn eastbound for the Piper. Join that east-west road, and you may start your descent for the Piper. Start the descent. Left base entry runway 36. Monitor the tower 126.6. Welcome to Oshkosh. Have a wonderful week. I got a Cherokee, half mile south of Fisk, just a bit north of the tracks there, Piper tight. Rock your wings, Piper, there you go. Nice rock, buddy, good job. Nice, healthy rock. Start a right turn for the Piper that just did the nice rock. Turn right, do eastbound. You're joining that east-west road. Left base entry runway 36. As soon as you get do eastbound, you may start the descent for that left base entry. Monitor the tower 126.6. Welcome to Oshkosh. Got an RV about a mile south of this. Rock your wings, RV. Nice rock, sir. Where are you in from? Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. You're the second one from Texas uh, we've had just here recently. Welcome to Oshkosh. Thank you. The RV directly over Fisk at this time. Go ahead and start a right turn. Start a right turn for the RV. Due eastbound. Join that east-west road. Once you get uh, lined up, due eastbound, start the descent. Left base entry runway 36. Monitor tower 126.6. Welcome. Have a wonderful week. Thanks, sir. Uh, yeah, I'll have a rip on here. Slowing down, I uh, have to be at 100 when I get to ripping. I 
I've got uh, two high wings that are probably about two and a half miles from Fisk. One has a flashing light in the right wing. Are you guys a flight? You look pretty tight there. Affirmative flight. Two kit boxes. I got a flight of Tundra tires about two miles from Fisk. Are you on frequency? Affirmative two kit boxes. Two kit boxes. Awesome. Where are you guys in from? Idaho. Idaho, you're not part of the uh, Flying Cowboys group and such, are you? No, nope, not this trip. All righty. Well, glad you made it. That's a long trip. I think uh, I'm going to say you win for today for the longest one that we've talked to so far. Okay. Thanks a lot. And the flight of kit foxes that are just about directly over Fisk. You're actually above this little cloud layer. You're going to be able to uh, go ahead and turn eastbound so you can stay uh, plenty VFR there. Flight of kit foxes. And you can start your descent if you need to because of this weather. You're entering a left base runway 36. Are you guys going to be able to see the airport all the way with the weather? I believe so. Affirmative. All right. Flight of kit fox from Idaho. Thanks for coming. Have a wonderful week. Monitor tower 126.6. Following is just turn a final, right off your nose, or roll one of the final year. Number three, runway 36 left, clear to land, the big runway. Put the wheels down on the yellow dot, wind 10010, gust 16. rolling out. Great job. Make the left turn when able. Follow the flagman. Welcome to Oshkosh. Thank you. High wing, good job. Make the left turn when able. Follow the flagman. Welcome to Oshkosh. Thanks. Get a low wing on the east-west road on left base. Just approaching final. You're number one now. Wind 110 at 10. Gus 16. Runway 36 left. Cleared to land. That's the big runway. Put the wheels down on the yellow dot. Make the left turn and follow the flagman. Welcome to Oshkosh.
kit foxes there, runway 36 left, clear to land, wind 11011, gust 16. Copy for the kit foxes, uh, we're vendors, any chance we can exit down at the far end of the uh, runway, that's our booth area. A low wing, follow the flagman, welcome to Oshkosh. Two copy, can we land up by the blue dot at the far end? Tower, uh, Kid Fox flight, any chance we can land down at the far end, blue dot? Is that in the middle of the blue dot? Yeah, the Kid Foxes are vendors, and wondering if we go all the way down to the far end. Uh, if I'm just sure, you're going to go all the way to the end and then turn off there with that, uh, so runway 36 left, clear to land as long as you want to. Okay, thanks a lot. That's close to our booth, that'll work. You don't make a left hand turn at the blue dot? Yeah, down about down about there we're going. There by the warbirds. Roger that. So it's either gonna be a left turn at the blue dot or a left turn at the end. There's a little bit of opposite direction, so I'd suggest a left at the blue dot and give you a little bit of room. Okay, we'll do it. Foxes, if you can't make that turn there, it's fine getting the grass. No, we can make it. I just it says a no no taxi marking, so I was just curious. Oh, I got you. Oscar Tower, fly to four RVs with you. Fly to four RVs, Roger. We'll call you as you get a little bit closer. You can expect runway three six left and uh, yellow or purple dot. Your choice. Yellow or blue dot, Roger. We'd like to taxi all the way to the end if we can. If you want to tax all the way to land to Yellow Dot or Beyond. Yellow Dot or Beyond, Roger. Where are you guys parking? Home Bill Camping. Roger that. And RVs, there's a exit at the blue dot. That's as far as I can let you go because I got the end of the runway coming off with all the taxi aircraft. So if you can expect a left turn at the blue dot to taxi up. Okay, land on yellow, left turn at the blue dot. Roger. Yes, sir. Thank you. An RV flight, you are uh, clear to land runway 36 left, yellow dot, turn left at the blue dot. Great job. It's a lot of water. The tower Cherokee A zero one zero whiskey. One zero whiskey. This is uh, Oshkosh. You just now uh, make the eastbound turn. Uh, Roger that. <laughs> Roger that. And Cherokee, if you can't keep your speed up, I'd appreciate it. There's a Mooney coming straight in about seven, eight miles out that we put you in front of. All right. We're going to give it what we got. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oshkosh Tower, Mooney 75 Victor is on the RNAV 36 uh, on a visual. Mooney 75 Victor, Roger, runway 36 to the left. You are clear to land. Yellow dot or beyond. 36 left, yellow dot or beyond, clear to land, 75 Victor. And what was the Cherokee's call, sir? 8010 Whiskey. And 10 Whiskey, Roger. Looks like it's going to work out a little bit better if you follow him. Just go ahead and slow down about 10 degrees to the right, and you'll roll in right behind him. Where are you going? Well, I was hoping to go in the back door, but they don't have it open, so spin around. We're going to deal with wing problems, though that's the issue. Shut down. Roger, Canadian. Uh, we'll just keep the advice when I pick you up uh, and just continue east.
right, we got some people jumping on. Welcome. You're about to see the 915 powered STI Kit Fox take to the skies. We're very excited. This is the Rotax 915 powered, spinning a MT three blade constant speed prop. Just an absolutely beautiful prop. Have fun, sir. Thanks, sir. For those not familiar with the 915, it is the newest release to the Rotax aircraft line. And it is a fuel injected, turbocharged, horizontally opposed four cylinder. So far proven to be uh, uh, incredibly smooth and uh, fired up right out of the box. We fired it for the first time last week and uh, we're about to take to the skies. We have to apologize for the, uh, the basic cowlings. We're still working on finalizing the cowlings for the You'll notice a very different sound to the engine. Much deeper. The exhaust is quite a bit larger. Uh, leaves a very, very different note. The prop is extremely quiet. The whole setup is, uh, is just a, a perfect combination. Mark Scott says, oh, that sounds healthy, and Scott Palmer says, doesn't sound like a road tax. Yeah, you're both right. Blade tracking on the MT is just spot on. Real happy with that prop. Says the best aircraft. We have to agree. Thank you. Jeremy Beckman says, uh, What's going on? We're going to fly the 915 here on the STI setup. So the STI is our larger wing, more under camber, big gear, big tires. We figured this was the perfect setup, the perfect match for the 915. The 915 is putting out about 140 horsepower. And it's only going to sip about 4 to 5 gallons per hour. We don't have any fuel uh, references yet. But we're anticipating a, a much better fuel burn than a carbureted version.
William Huff says, you are constantly improving an already great plane. I don't know how you are doing it. It's always getting better. Thank you. We work hard every day. We were impressed with the Titan performance, but that's just insane. Nicely done, Mr. McBean. At this point, uh, we've only got about an hour on the engine so far, so uh, you know we're still figuring it out. We're still working on things. We don't really uh, have any. Uh, performance climb numbers. William Langford wanted to know what the climb was. Uh, it's going to be impressive. Most of the time on a, a 914 turbo uh, LSA, for instance, we're going to see performance numbers in the 12 to 1400 feet a minute. Uh, we're going to anticipate better than that with this setup. About 100 pounds lighter, 125 pounds lighter, somewhere right in there, uh, than the Titan, uh, which was a IO340. Muhammad wants to know the name. This is our Kid Fox STI, so our stole inspired uh, wing platform, which is going to be a deeper wing, higher, uh, higher lift uh, wing, a little more under camber, and slightly longer wingspan than our standard uh, Super Sport wing. Stan, that is John flying. He wanted to have all the fun today. <laughs> So currently the 915 is only set up to accept the MT constant speed prop. It's actually 
using oil from the engine to uh, hydraulically control the prop. So at this point, uh, they're a required match and there, there's other options being worked on for now. Uh, we're thinking it should just be an awesome combination. Unfortunately on the video, I don't think you're getting the uh, reference of what an impressive climb this thing has. <laughs> Jeremy says, uh oh, my wallet is scared. Yeah, we can relate. <laughs> That's how you know he's having fun. <laughs> I had to schedule that haircut. <laughs> uh, Greg Busby asks, is that the 912 IS? No, this is the new 915 IS. The uh, 912 IS rated at 100 horsepower. This is uh, 140 horsepower Rotax. So the smoothness, reliability, We've come to expect from the uh, fuel injected Rotax platform, but uh, significantly more power. Like a pro. Alright, hopefully uh, everybody enjoyed that. There's going to be more to come, so stay tuned. Have fun. Like Hitbox.
There you go. There you go. Now just do your pilot thing. Full stall landing. Take your time. Don't need any brakes. Enough drag on the grass. So there's 1,500 foot runway with two 200 foot ponderosa pine trees all around it. Wow. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Roland, and uh, I've got about 40 hours in this airplane. Let me give you a little background on my aviation experience. I've been flying over 30 years. I've got about 3,200 hours, 1,000 hours of tail dragger time, flying a lot of competition aerobatics, so a lot of high performance tail wheel time. Also, was very fortunate to get a job flying skydivers in Twin Otters and in a King Air, and that was a blast. Back in the spring, I took a ride with Paul Lederbrand in one of his kit boxes, and um, at first I thought, it's so cute, it's so tiny. It's a great backyard we have. It's awesome. Isn't it? <laughs> you just got to know, you got to Glad that you know where the power lines are. I do. And they're all in tree. They're all <laughs> below the treetop level. So as long as you stay above the trees, um, we're safe. Okay? okay. So when I started training in the kit box, I thought it was going to be a piece of cake because of my prior experience. But it was just a little bit tougher than I thought. We're a little fast, so let's slow up a little bit more, pitch up, trim up if you need to. So you see how those trees are pulling away from the grass? Yep. Yep. So we're a little high, a little fast, a little more nose up. A little more nose up. Doing fine. Keep that power in there. Keep that power in there. There you go. It's not that this plane is hard to fly because it's not. It's because I was used to flying much heavier airplanes. So when this airplane you come in a little bit fast and you are going to land long and that's not something you want to do in the backcountry. And we're 70, so you're going to float like a son of a gun. But you got 4,000 feet of runway. You, you've got to be able, I'm not, it's not a complaint. It's you, you, it, that if you want to land at the end of the runway, you've got to be able to do it. So it's taken me some time. I've been working a lot on spot landing, spot landing, spot landings, and spot landings with crosswinds, and spot landings with strong headwinds. I know that there are many of you in the backcountry community that can absolutely fly circles around me. I have seen all of the videos. In fact, I've even flown with some of you guys. It's been really fun. <laughs>